Dear students, welcome to Sanskrit Amrit. Today's class, as we discussed, today we will uh, study about Sandhi. Paper number one, topic number six, that is of uh, Sandhi topic. Now, students, uh, please pay attention. You have uh, three different types of Sandhi in syllabus. Number one is vowel Sandhi, where uh, we are going to join two vowels, right? And uh, second one is consonant Sandhi, where one consonant is there at the end of any word that is supposed to be changed to any other consonant. So that is called as uh, consonant Sandhi. And third Sandhi is Visarga Sandhi, two dots, Visarga. Visarga Sandhi, where Visarga should be there at the end of the word, right? Two words we have between uh, them, plus is there. So the previous word is ending with Visarga. That Visarga is supposed to change to any consonant or a vowel U. So three types of Sandhis are there. But many subtypes are there, right? Number one Sandhi in vowel Sandhi, if you see uh, Dirga Sandhi is there. Uh, guna Sandhi, Vruddhi Sandhi, Yana Sandhi, Ayadi Sandhi, Parasavarana Sandhi, uh, <coughs> Purvarup Sandhi, Pararup Sandhi, Lopa Sandhi is there. So many subtypes are there of uh, vowel Sandhi that we will understand one by one. Now listen to me carefully. In exam, the question would be like you are supposed to join Sandhi or disjoin the words, right? Applying the rules of Sandhi. And uh, you are supposed to write the sutra also, uh, particularly of that particular sandhi. So what we'll do, one by one, I will show here on the screen. I will show you the subtypes of each sandhi rules. And uh, accordingly, we'll understand in detail, right? Uh, with sutra in Laguzan Komodi also. So we'll understand the rules. We'll check the sutra. We'll understand the sutra. And then we'll do some practice also of that particular Sandhi. Okay. So pay attention now. First of all, let me just uh, discuss with you about the syllabus, uh, about the Sandhi, uh, Sandhi rules. Here we have six, topic number six, Sandhi, in which 6.1, Ach Sandhi is written here. See, what is written? Ach Sandhi and slash Swar Sandhi. Now, Ach Sandhi and Swar Sandhi, both are synonym, right? Both are same actually. Swar is vowel and Ach is also called vowel. Why Ach is called vowel? Because Ach is Pratyahar. Pratyahar, we already understood Pratyahar. From Shiva Sutra, start from A, I, U, N, A, I, U, Rul, Ru, A, O, I, Auch, ending with Ch, Ach, means all vowels are coming in Ach Pratyahar. So it is Ach means vowel, Ach Sandhi means vowel Sandhi, Ach Sandhi and Swar Sandhi both are same. Now, in that, if you see here, number one subtype Sandhi number one is Yan Sandhi and Sutra is Eko Yanachi. Now student, in this syllabus, the first Sandhi should be Dirga Sandhi, which is a very common Sandhi and most of the examples that of Dirga Sandhi that you will find this in shlokas. In every second shloka you will find Dirga Sandhi example. But that Sandhi is not here in this syllabus. But we will not skip it. We will understand this because here we are not learning only for the exam purpose. I want you people to understand all those grammar topics which are very very important to uh, study Ayurveda shlokas not only in first year but even in second, third, fourth, fifth year also that you can do some research in future you must be having that basic knowledge right to understand to interpret the shlokas so let us study one number one dirga sandhi also which is not in the syllabus if you will see you will not find it anywhere here in vowel sandhi but we will understand that dirga sandhi first right so as per the sutra let us start learning sandhi now Sandhi, uh, basic uh, things, I already taught you this in one lecture, right, in term one. So Sandhi is euphony, joining two different words. And here, as I already mentioned, three types of Sandhi we have. Swara Sandhi, Vyanjan Sandhi, Visarga Sandhi. 
uh, in that number one swar sandhi we have here you you can see on the screen swar sandhi okay let me just uh, share the screen yeah so uh, three types of sandhi swar sandhi vyanjan sandhi uh, visarga sandhi in that first we'll start learning swar sandhi that is called vowel sandhi now students listen to me carefully in uh, vowel sandhi we have 10 different types in syllabus 10 types of sandhis in which first five here dirga sandhi guna sandhi vruddhi sandhi yan and ayadi sandhi okay so let us begin with dirga sandhi so students while you read the name of this sandhi dirga sandhi dirga means a type of a vowel right dirga long vowels which long vowels we have in sanskrit language a e u ru right these all are considered as dirga so while you will get dirga vowel in place of two vowels for that there is a sutra in lagusdan komodi it is called akaha savarna dirga let me show you here this is the sutra let me just zoom little bit yeah yeah everyone read here what is the sutra akaha savarne dirgha akaha savarne dirgha the meaning of this sutra will understand first is akaha now what is this ak student let's understand akaha means there is pratyahar ak pratyahar ak pratyahar means starts with ai un a e un rul ruk if you see in uh, shiva sutra first uh, shiva sutra is ai un second is rul ruk right so we'll have to stop at ka after rul ruk so a e u rul ru these five vowels are coming in ak right so of all ak pratyahar letters means all a e u rul ru savarne what is this word savarne now let me just discuss this is very important thing whatever i'll i'll explain you here students remember this is going to be useful in upcoming all sandhi rules because all are interconnected so listen to me carefully not down if you don't remember the second word in the sutra is savarne savarne is actually the seventh case singular it is seventh case saptami vibhakti ek vachan of the root word savarna now savarna sangna we already understood sangna what is called savarna any one of you remember what is savarna sangna <laughs> सवर्ण होमो होमोजेनियस लेटर्स यस सर या सेम सेम इज एक्चुअली सेम वर्ण सेम लेटर सेम लेटर मींस व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सवर्ण संज्ञा द डेफिनेशन इज लाइक टू लेटर्स वाइल यू टेक द आर्टिकुलेशन प्लेस प्रोनाउंसिएशन प्लेस ऑफ बोथ लेटर मस्ट बी सेम right so with the uh, both letters belong to same pronunciation place second condition internal efforts of both letters must be same so for example if you take a articulation place of a is guttural kantha second you take a also articulation place is guttural kantha a so articulation place is same of both now internal effort internal effort is actually uh sprushta is sprushta is vivruta vivruta so vivruta swaranam all vowels at uh, internal effort is vivruta number 4 five internal efforts we have no abhyantar prayatna the fourth one is of uh, vowels so vivruta is internal effort of a vivruta is internal effort of a so articulation place and internal efforts both are same of o and a okay you exchange i and o same o and o obviously same i and a same so o or a both are coming to the same articulation place and internal efforts also same so both are considered as savarna but if you take o and e articulation plus changes it is not considered savarna so here in the sutra if you read savarne word is given 
Savarne that is given in the seventh case, no? Savarne like Rame. If Rama table, if you take Rama, 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 seventh singular, Saptam Vivakti equation is Rame, Rama Yoho, Rame Shu, Rame. Now, in the sutra, if a word is in the seventh case, always remember, note down. It means it says that next, it should be next. So, Savarna means the homogeneous letter seventh case means it should be next word starting the second word that you are going to join with the first word second word starting should be savarna means if the first word is a then next word starting should be savarna means next word should be either a or a it cannot be any other vowel and while you join them answer is always read the sutra what is the answer? Answer is always Dirgaha. Got it? Like this, you can remember the Sutra student. Akaha, A, E, U, Rul, Ru. These vowels. The next word is Savarna, means the same vowels next. Raswa, Dirgaha, any. Right? Join them, always answer is Dirgaha. Okay? So, like this, Akaha, Savarna, Dirgaha, and the Sutra you can apply. Rules I already explained, so it's easy for you to understand. Avara, next is also Avara. Both are considered as Savarana. Answer is also Dirga. Always Dirga. E, E, E. Always Dirga. E, U. Both same. Dirga, U. Answer. Uh, Ru. Always Dirga, Ru. Answer. Check. Ru cannot be applied because Dirga, Ru is not available in Sanskrit language. These examples I already uh, given to you and you understand this. Okay, so it's very easy student. However, it is not in the syllabus, but just for your knowledge, I uh, explained this. Now, let us uh, move forward and understand the next Sandhi. Here we have Yarn Sandhi number one. Okay, Yarn Sandhi. So, before we continue Yarn Sandhi, let us understand next here Guna Sandhi. So, it will be easy for you. Uh, Guna Sandhi, yeah. Uh, Hmm. Yes, Parat. What do you want? You want to know? Sir, actually he wants to write this slide that you taught. Oh, you want to write something that, uh, that I am showing? Yes, sir. Parad, don't worry. Whatever you are seeing here in the PDF file, I will send you this PDF file in the group. It is material prepared for you. Yes, everything you will get with examples also. Don't worry. Whatever I am showing you, you will get everything. Okay. Yes. Here you are supposed to just pay attention and uh, something with what I am speaking like Savarne is seventh case. And seventh yes. case means always next word starting. It should be next word starting. That kind of things you cannot. Otherwise, this material you will get for sure. This whole file, entire file you will get that you will see here. Okay? These things. Okay. Uh, so, students, uh, next uh, we have Guna Sandhi. Now, students, first of all, before we continue learning this Guna Sandhi, I have a question for you. We already understood Guna Sangna. What is Guna Sangna? Which three letters are considered as guna, if you remember? Aden guna. Aden says a, at means a, ang, ang means ang pratyahar, a and o, a, a, o. These three are considered as guna. Now, we are learning guna sandhi, means whichever vowels you join, answer must be guna. Guna means answer must be any one of these three. A, A or O. Done? Now which vowels we are going to join so that answer can be A, A or O. Let us understand. Here you read. This Sandhi we skipped for a while. We will understand next. Here we are studying Guna Sandhi. Okay? Guna Sandhi. And Sutra if you read here it is Ad Guna. A and Halanta Da and Guna. Ad Guna. So let us understand this Adguna Sutra here in the Lagusdan Kaumudi. Okay. Just a second.
any one of you are using this book which i am showing you here on the screen you must be having this uh, book also it is available laguzidan komodi uh, if you need i will send you the front page also so it can be useful for you as a reference just a second student it taking just one minute Yes, here we have Sutra Ad Guna. So as I said, Guna Sangna Guna Sandhi means two vowels you will join and answer should be O A O. But which vowel you are going to join with which vowel that you need to understand and that you will understand by Sutra only. Only if you remember Sutra, it's my guarantee that you will remember the rule. Okay, so pay attention in the Sutra. Here we have the sutra. The name of the sutra is Ad Gunaha. Everyone repeat Ad Gunaha. Ad. The first letter is, first word is actually At. Now what is At? At is actually the fifth case of A letter. A Varanat is the meaning. A Varanat means from the A or A both. What is the meaning of At? A or A means after A or A. If the word is ending with O or A sound, for example, Rama ending with O, Lata ending with A. So if the first word is ending with O or A sound, and what should be next? Then here they said, uh, next word, if it is, next word is, here you read. What is this word, students, in the commentary? Achi Pare. What is this? Achi Pare. Now here you need to understand something. Achi pare. Pare means next. What is this achi? Any anyone has any idea about this? Achi. Achi is actually seventh singular of the root word ach. Now ach is pratyahar. Ach is pratyahar, no? Ach is a mm -hmm. vowel, pratyahar. And achi is seventh. Students, consonant ending word you take any, like manas. Right? If you take manas or uh, atman or gunin, right? All these words, seventh singular if you see in the table, consonant ending word, table if you see, like rama is a ending. Similarly, consonant ending manas, atman, uh, then gunin. 7 singular should be ending with E. Like Manas 7 singular is Manasi. Atman 7 singular is Atmani. Gunin 7 singular is Gunini. Here Achi. Achi means it is the 7th case singular of Ach. And if you remember just before 5 minutes I said if anything in the Sutra or in commentary is in 7th case means what? Remember? Yeah. It should be next. It okay. should be in the beginning of the next word. So, achi means ach. Ach means vowel. Should be in the beginning of the next word. So, first word is ending with a or a sound. Next word starts with any vowel. Ach. Right? Then what? Then it you can do guna. Purva parayoho eko guno guna adesa syat. Purva parayoho eko means previous word and next word guna adesa. Which order is there? Guna. It should be guna. So we have two examples given here. Upendra and Gangodakam. Okay. So let us see. Here we have in guna sandhi we have previous word must be see in simp I have made it simply simple actually. Our previous word right ending with previous word ending with aura next word if it is e or e u or u dirga ru or ru answer is as simple as a o and r that was the simplification that i did 
but right now we are studying as per the sutra okay so students we have an example here deva this is as per the rule ending with aura yes it is ending with a next word should be ach yes it is e now you join them a and e it should be any one of three guna answer either a a or r should be a o or r correct now which you are going to choose a a or or r a a or r sorry a o or r in out of this three guna you have to choose one a plus e e no students you will choose a but why you have chosen a the reason behind is a the articulation place of a is kantha and talu kantha talu means guttural and palate both are the articulation place of a because a uh, is made up of these two o and e now if you check articulation place of o is guttural articulation place of e is palatal so o plus e guttural plus palatal a so that's why we are choosing a that's why we are not choosing o or a because o and o also consider as guna so you understood why we have chosen a as guna because they are the closest articulation they are consider as the closest that's why it is called kind of a savarna okay that's answer is a that's very simple a plus e is equal to a but why a right that i explained you so deva plus indra devendra in in fact if a is there no problem a plus e also will be a because the rule is it should be a or a at the end of the previous word okay so ad guna should be applied now uh a or a so is there at the end of previous word and next word starts with u or u even then the answer is o the reason behind what is the articulation place of a or a guttural kantha and articulation place of u or u is labial ostha so o has this both articulation place one is kantha that is uh, guttural and second one is labial that is called ostha that's why we have chosen o right while we are joining o or a plus o or u because articulation place of o is kantostha this is something just for your knowledge students actually most of you are aware about this sandhi but understand in depth uh, so it will be easy for you to remember for long time now student here o or a plus ru or ru now actual answer of joining of this both vowels is only a because we have three guna vowel no a a o it should be a but from where this ra has come right answer is r why they said o or a you join with <coughs> ru then answer should be guna we cannot choose a we cannot choose o we have to choose a but what we do deva plus rushi we are writing devarshi that ra has come from where that ra has come from sutra uran raparah it says that while you are joining a and ru and you are getting guna vowel answer a that must be with ra consonant ra must be there compulsory that sutra is here here is the sutra that says that you are changing a, a plus ru you are joining that should be with ra see here is the rule on pratyahar ra para which is followed by halanta ra and also homogeneous la while you are joining a plus ru just for your knowledge students in exam if you are not going to write uran ra para no problem but you must know that we have three guna vowel a a o we understood a and o how it it comes how this both come but a 
next guna vowel is a the answer is ar why ra that is because of uran rapara sutra okay so in short if you follow this rule uh, simplification if you understand it's easy but as per the sutra at guna it says at means after aura next is ach vowel then you can do guna guna means guna vowels a and o okay so i hope you understood this sandhi and while you just go through this material and uh, please go through my previous uh, video also on sandhi that i explained you in brief without sutra here we are discussing the sutra specifically in detail okay so students here we understood guna sandhi that is ad guna is the sutra now let us uh, understand the next sandhi is vruddhi sandhi what is the name of the sandhi students vruddhi sandhi now before we continue i have a question guna sangna three vowels a a o vruddhi sangna which vowels are there vruddhi ra daich sutra vruddhi sangna it says which three vowels are considered as vruddhi let me a a ke jagah pe a a ke jagah pe a hi aur o ke jagah pe o oh so a a dirgha a ai au these three vowels are considered as vruddhi means in this uh, sandhi while you join two vowels answer must be any of these three either a ai or au got it here a means r with r that will not will not study because the examples are extremely less but i and o will understand how you will get i and how you will get o check it just a moment okay so let's continue learning this vruddhi sandhi students here we have sutra vruddhi rechi remember this sutra important to mention in the exam vruddhi rechi now vruddhi rechi if you disjoin no this ra is actually re is actually made up of uh, ra and a this ra is actually visarga so the root word is vruddhi hi right in vruddhi rechi and next word is echi now what is this h student obviously h pratyahar right and uh, if you remember i said if a uh, pratyahar this is very important not down in your notebook any pratyahar ending with e like achi achi means it is seventh case singular and as i mentioned seventh singular means what it should be in the beginning of next word why i am telling you forcefully to note down because in upcoming all sub types of sandhi all sandhis vowel sandhis consonant sandhi you will find one or two pratyahar and pratyahar is going to be very important shiva sutra very important to understand the rules of sandhi okay so h e as i said the root word is h and seventh is h e seventh case singular is h e and as it is seven singular means it should be in the next word starting now h e as i said next word starting now what is coming what vowels are there in h a o i o so if the if the word is ending with o or a next word starts with a o i o then answer should be vruddhi means you will get either i or o right i repeat if the first word check this rule purva pad means first word is ending with a or a sound and next word starts with uttara pad the next word starts with a or i then joining combination of this both will be i that is vruddhi vowel and if the for previous word ending starting with a or a next word starts with o or o combination of any of these two with any of this will be o only because this both i and o are considered as vruddhi vowels example a ka plus a kam a ka ending with a a kam starts with a so a and a both 
joined as i see i just like a math sum i have uh, elaborate here so you would understand it easily a plus a i a i a kai come okay and you will get this material student uh, for your reference okay now let us uh, see one example of o also check this kshira plus odanam now kshira ending with o sound okay and odanam starts with o sound so o plus o as per the rule will be vruddhi o so kshi rao danam okay like this these examples uh, you have already seen and you can go through for the practice for vruddhi vruddhi vowels now if you see in the laguzidant komudi let me show you laguzidan komadi sutra yeah vruddhi rade this one is for sangna vruddhi sangna that says this a i and o are considered as vruddhi sangna now here you see vruddhi rechi sutra and here we have the rules that i explained you a vruddhi is substitute for both if a letter pertaining to h pratyahar means the next word comes after o or a h pratyahar a o i o comes after o or a then both will be joined as vruddhi now here are some example students from laguzidan komudi should be important for exam purpose they could ask you the question from this examples first example let me just zoom please note it down everyone note down who are uh, attending the class now and who will watch this video later first example is krushranai katvam krushranai here you read hanai ai sound is there that is actually vruddhi that comes in place of two vowels right the first word should be krushana ending with a sound what should be the next one who who are uh, attending the class you can respond students krushana plus next word ekatvam ekatvam yes a not ai right ekatvam you are right ekatvam krishna plus ekatvam krishna ekatvam not down this example is important next gangau gah so gangau gah here the first word ending with a sound ganga river ganga plus next word ganga plus ogah ogah correct ogah sir krishna krishna ekatvam sangi vichadar kare to krishna और एकत्वम भी हो सकता है कृष्णा प्लस एकत्वम दोनों सही होगा ना यू आर राइट एक्चुअली डियर एस पर द संधि रूल ऐ ऐ कत्वम राइट बट एक्चुअल वर्ड इज एकत्वम द रूट वर्ड इज एकत्वम एंड यू दैट इज द थिंग रिमेंबर जॉइनिंग इज इजी यू नो द रूल्स बट व्हाइल डिसजॉइनिंग यू मस्ट बी अवेयर अबाउट द previous word ending sound next word starting sound that you must be aware nobody can help you in that case ekatvam is like unity no like it's wholesome right it's a one word a k ek one so it's always starts with a sound ekatvam so that you must be aware but uh, as per the rule a is also correct but actual word is not there a ka word is not uh, existed in sanskrit language see here krishna plus ekatvam krishna ai katvam next example ganga plus o ga gangau ga a plus o au next example if you see in uh, siddhant lagujana komadi devaishwaryam deva plus aishwaryam here next word starts with a yes, see yes. here a is there it's it's a root word no actual word is starting with i sound and this also i can explain you in brief just for your knowledge student here in root actual word is ishwar you know ishwar is the root word and one suffix is added here so ishwara plus ya while you join this e will get vruddhi directly vruddhi directly vruddhi i and ra will be halant ishwar and yeah like this the word is created from ishwar aishwari is created so root word is aishwaryam a plus i will be i okay next word 
इस कृष्णाउत कंठ्यम कृष्णाउ औ कंठ्यम सो कृष्ण प्लस नेक्स्ट वर्ड हियर स्टार्ट विथ औ साउंड सो स्टूडेंट इफ यू सी द ऑर्डर दिस इन दिस एग्जाम्पल नेक्स्ट वर्ड स्टार्ट विथ ए हियर नेक्स्ट वर्ड स्टार्ट विथ ओ हियर नेक्स्ट वर्ड स्टार्ट विथ ऐ एंड हियर औत कंठ्यम नेक्स्ट वर्ड स्टार्ट विथ औ सो ए ओ ऐ औ ऑल फॉर वॉवेल्स एग्जाम्पल दे हैव गिवन डन एनी डाउट ऑल क्लियर रुद्धि संधि प्रीवियस वर्ड एज यूजल शुड बी एंडेड विथ अ और आ नेक्स्ट वर्ड केन बी ए और ऐ जॉइनिंग ऑलवेज ऐ इफ द प्रीवियस वर्ड एंडिंग विथ अ और आ एंड नेक्स्ट वर्ड स्टार्ट विथ ओ और औ जॉइनिंग इज ऑलवेज औ डन सो लाइक दिस इट इज वृद्धि संधि एंड सूत्र नेम रिमेम्बर इट इज वृद्धि रेची इम्पोर्टेंट This one. Check. This two with this two always I and this or a plus or o only o. Okay. Done. Yes, sir. But what I was uh, telling Bharat that uh, joining is uh, is easy as per the rules. But while you are supposed to disjoin, suppose it is asked to disjoin thing because in sloka. Mm -hmm. while they will ask you the question to disjoin the words given there in the shloka at that time you must be aware about the actual word because some mm -hmm. words ending with a some words ending with a next words can be start with a or i also or o also that you must be aware uh, mm -hmm. if i would give you uh, for example uh, very simple uh, महौषधि महौषधि सो वेन यू आर डिजॉइनिंग यू नो द रूल वृद्धि संधि रूल्स इट कैन बी ओवर आ सो वॉट यू विल राइट मह और महा महा बिकॉज वी हर्ड वी नो महा वर्ड इज देयर वट शुड बी द नेक्स्ट वर्ड औषधि औषधि राइट सो Here, you are aware. That's why you will write proper vowel a and o like this. So in 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 sloka, maybe the words will be new. So while I will teach you sloka, I will teach you the four chapters, uh, chapter nine, ten, eleven, twelve, or maybe ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. In term two, each sloka I will explain you by disjoining the words. At that time, while I'll speak, no, note down those words. For example, purpose because ten marks question will be there where you are supposed to explain unvai, you are supposed to explain sandhi disjoining samas, which vibhakti word is there. So while during my lecture only, I will just explain you in detail about the sandhi words also in the slokas that I already have done in the previous three chapters also. The same I will apply this in the upcoming uh, all slokas. I will speak the sutra also. while i will explain you the shloka while this joining so please note down in my lecture okay all right so dear students like this we understood the sandhi number 3 vruddhi sandhi and the sutra is vruddhi rechi remember this sutra okay and uh, here one more uh, announcement to you all here we are learning one by one all sub types of vowel sandhi i will give you around 30 examples to join this join of first five vowels and this together so it will be a good practice for you to join and disjoin different five vowels and this example together in the material only it is attached okay let me just show you for your knowledge sir maha aushadhi mein maha aushadhi ya aushadhi kya what will be au 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 aushadhi 
औषधि औषधि वो गलत हो गया यस औषध औषधि नो औषधि वर्ड इज देयर औ एंडिंग विथ औ स्टार्टिंग विथ औ सी वेट आर यू एबल टू सी यस सर या चेक लेट मी टाइप इट इन संस्कृत Can you read it? Maha plus or sad? Okay, there is a question. Yes, wait, 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 wait. Oh, somebody asked it actually. In See here, uh, Rudhi Sandhi is applied. Or sadhi. में संधि का प्रकार टाइप ऑफ संधि वृद्धि संधि एज आई सेड राइट महा प्लस औषधि डन बट इन सम बुक्स औषधि इज देयर औषधि नॉट औषधि औषध वर्ड इज गिवन एज ओके आई अंडरस्टूड बट लेट अस सी इफ यू सी टू वर्ड्स कैन बी देयर सो विल कंफर्म विद बोथ जस्ट अ सेकंड Yeah, they are allowed us to have this oshadi word, and oshadi also will check annual. Uh, okay, annual plant or herb oshadi, and we will find o also. Wait. So, if it is available, then it means both can be correct. Yes. This is the plant annual. Yes, dear. Both are correct. Both are available. Okay. Sir. See, I have shown you now in front of you, in the yes, dictionaries. Both are correct. No confusion. Okay, uh, students of so Vridhi Sandhi that we have finished. Now uh, we'll uh, move forward and we'll check this next Sandhi, Yan Sandhi. What is the name of the Sandhi students? Yan Sandhi. Remember. Uh, okay uh, i was talking to you about some examples that you are supposed to do for practice here are the examples see around 30 32 examples i have given to join this join right so it will be easy, uh, helpful for you okay here we are going to understand next sandhi name is yan sandhi what is the name of the sandhi student yan sandhi before we continue understand this sandhi i want you to respond what is yan anybody knows yan pratyahar yan pratyahar yan pratyahar from shiva sutra which letters are coming in yan patani ya varala इन शिव सूत्र सूत्र नंबर फाइव हय वरट लण सो ह यू स्कीप ह स्कीप ल एंड देन ल हय वरट य व र एंड ल फोर लेटर्स आर कमिंग य व र ल धीस य व र ल आर एक्चुअली द आंसर्स नाउ स्टूडेंट स्टील नाउ थ्री वॉवेल्स सन दिस वी अंडरस्टूड वेर वी वर जॉइनिंग टू वॉवेल्स एंड वी वर गेटिंग अ वन आंसर वन वॉवेल in this sandhi we are not going to join here we are going to exchange we are going to replace a vowel with consonant here in this sandhi the previous word if it is ending with a particular vowel then it will be converted to a particular consonant now which vowel is going to convert to which consonant that we will understand now pay attention 
See, the sutra is Eko Yanachi. What is the sutra, student? Eko Yanachi. So, we'll understand the sutra. Eko, the first word is Eko is actually Ik Pratyahar. What is Ikaha? No? Ik, basically, it is Ikaha. Ikaha means Ik Pratyahar. Now, Ik Pratyahar means these letters. E, U, Rul, Ru. Okay. Now, here you read Yanachi. Yanachi means Yan plus Achi. Now, what is this Yan? Yan is the name of the Sandhi. So, Yan means Yavarala. Now, it means what? That Ik Pratyahar vowels convert to Yan Pratyahar letters. Now, you check the colors. Red colors, E converts to Ya, U converts to A. Ru vowel converts to ra, ru vowel converts to la. If these vowels are there at the end of the previous word. And not only raswa, there can be dirga also, don't worry. It can be like uh, dirga e also, no issue. Right? U can be dirga u also. Ru can be dirga ru. So, any of this, e, raswa e or dirga e, raswa or dirga u, any vowel must be converted to ya, u to va, ru to ra, ru to la. So that is called ik. E urul ru should be converted to yan. When you can do it? If the next word starts with yan achi. See achi again. Achi. Root word is ach no? Students I said ach is the root word and achi means seventh case. Remember I said achi seventh case ending with e sound. Any pratyahar ending with e sound in the sutra, it means seventh case, and seventh case means next would be ach. Now next should be ach means next should be a vowel. See. Now let us check this situation as per this rule, e or e should be converted to alantya consonant ya. Remember not with a ending, only consonant ya. If any vowel except same vowel as previous vowel next, okay. So, here you read the example. Sudhi, ending with long e, yes, should be converted to ya if the next is dissimilar vowel. U is there. Yes, you are allowed to change. So, look at these steps. Sudhi, ending with e, long e is converted to halantya. So, sudhaya and upasya. Now, join them. Sudhi upasya. E is converted to ya. Just one change we done. E we have converted to ya. That's it. And then you need to join them. All. Similarly, let us see one more example. Mati ending with E sound convert to ya. And join eka. Mati eka. Now here we have the example of U. U should be converted to va if next is dissimilar vowel. Bhanu plus akaraha. Okay. So Bhanu plus akaraha here. Word is ending with U sound. Next is dissimilar vowel A. So U is converted to V, halant V, and next join them. Van, V, A. Van, V, Kar, H. If Ru is there, then Ru should be converted to R. Check this. Ru should be converted to R. If next is dissimilar vowel. So Bratru plus Api. What we have here? Bratru ending with Ru sound that ru should be converted to ra halantra so halantata halantara and a both all are joined it becomes which compound letter students ta ra and a joined tra. tra yes this compound letter tra correct ratra here we have ratra p all I have written it in step by step so you can read easily. And last vowel, Lru. If Lru is there at the end of a vowel, uh, end of a word, should be converted to La. Okay. So Lru plus Akruti, see here. Lru plus Akruti. Lru vowel will be converted to La and plus A, La. Ru plus Akruti will be Lakruti. Okay. Uh, here we have some examples also, student. Uh, these examples I have taken specially from Lakusidan Komodi. So it would be uh, 
easy for you and you can refer this example if it will be asked in exam you can easily write the answer also wait this yarn sandhi is actually in the beginning of this chapter yeah here we have check eco yanachi very interesting uh, uh, sutra if you will uh, remember the sutra you will remember the rules then eco ik pratyahar ik pratyahar means e u rule rule for vowels this four right should be converted to yan yan if next word starts with ach pratyahar so yan means yavarala so e to ya u to va all things are written here if next word starts with ach ach means vowels but dissimilar vowels yeah so here uh, examples are given actually but uh, not the end of this sutra because some sutras are extra sutras are also there as per the rules but we are not going to see this as uh, in this much detail will not be asked in the exam i want you people to check uh, these examples uh see here second example second option sudhyu pasya then here we have madhvari hi here we have dhatran saha and here we have lakruti hi so all this i have taken here in this madhu plus arihi u is converted to va madhvari hi lru converted to la and a lakruti hi dhatru ru ra is converted to ra धात्र अंश धात्र अंश गौरी एंडिंग विथ ई साउंड कन्वर्ट टू य एंड आ गौर या गच्छति जी डोंट गेट कन्फ्यूज हियर गौरी हलंत र एंड लॉन्ग ई नो दिस ई इज सपोज टू बी य नाउ दिस य एंड आ यू जॉइन विल बी या एंड हलंत र विल गो अपॉन या सो गौर या एज रेप सी गौर या गच्छति okay don't get confused with this alandar kuru again here kuru this ru is actually made up of uh, halantara and u uh, sorry u now this u will be convert to as per the rule va so va and idam will be vidam and this ra will go upon v kur vidam kur vidam okay next matru matru is actually ending with ru sound okay and that supposed to be convert to ra so ma ta ra and agna matragna together so that is how we understood students about uh, yan sandhi yan sandhi is not something that we will join to vowels here in yan sandhi we will convert a sound vowel sound to consonant sound which vowel sounds converts to which consonant sound for that if you remember the sutra eko yan achi eko yan achi eko ik pratyahar e u rul ru convert to yan yavarala if next word starts with achi achi means a vowel but dissimilar vowel suppose a same vowel is there next students what problem will be arise tell me if e is there in the previous word ending next word starts with e what is the problem can we convert e to y no sir then then sir not possible why which sandhi will be applied dirgha dirgha sandhi na no. dirgha sandhi will be applied so dissimilar should be there savarna cannot be there the first sandhi that i start teaching you today savarna same vowel then dirgha so dissimilar vowel should be there then you can convert e to y u to w ru to r and l ru to l done so in today's class we have understood these many sandhis all this material that you have seen this notes i will send you once i'll finish this topic vowel sandhi topic and the examples also that you have shown uh, as you have seen around 32 there examples also with the material i will send but once i'll finish all 10 types of vowel sandhis which are there in the syllabus maybe coming week uh or maybe on monday we'll finish it or maybe at the end 
or this coming week will finish i will send the material all right thank you so much for being students see you uh, uh saturday okay at 7:30 thank you bye bye thank you sir good night good night